Welcome to Brad's YouTube videos. <clears throat> this is a remake of a video I made earlier. I had a bad microphone and people didn't like it and wanted me to remake it, so here you go. And I'll try to explain it a little bit better for people who don't have an understanding. Um, this is to troubleshoot the error message you see right here. Error displaying the error page. Application instantation, instantation error could not connect to MySQL. Now this error only pops up when there's an issue with the host variable, which usually is an IP address. Um, sometimes when you update your GoDaddy or something, the host name might change, causing this error. And it's a very simple fix. If you don't know what to do, it can be uh, troublesome. So the first thing, the problem is going to lie in the file in your directory. I'm in, I'm connected to my FTP via FileZilla. I'm connected FTP to my system here. This is my website that we're looking at right here. It's called readingrainbowclan.com. And this is right now the error page. If I get anything, I'll, this is all I see. So I, this has, be, has to be fixed first before we can see anything. And the file that you want to edit, when you connect in using FileZilla or whatever protocol you'd like to use to, you know, FTP files to and from your website, the file is called configuration.php. That's the file that we're going to have to edit. I've already transferred it over and grabbed it. So now we want to edit it, and you can use any program you want. I'm going to choose to use Dreamweaver. So I'm going to edit. I don't know why this message pops up, but I hate it. All right, and all these are all the variables that your database is going to use. And the variable that we want, sometimes it's var host, other times it's just host. Here it is right here, do, public dollar sign host equals, and this IP address. Well, this IP address is wrong. This is what's causing the problem. This is it, nothing else. Everything else is accurate. So to change that, we first have to find out what the right IP address and how do we do that? Well, the best way to do that is to go to your ISP, your whoever's doing your hosting, mine in this case is GoDaddy, and I've logged into my host, and I got my site up, and I'm going to go down to databases, MySQL databases. I'm going to click on that, and then find your database, and mine's reading rainbow, so there it is right here. So the first thing you want to do, always look at the details, just so you get the details, you get the, the username, all that kind of stuff and this and it says a host name here's a host name right here this will not work okay this is not the one you want to use so we're going to close that and let's go back down to page two reading rainbow we're going to go to php my admin so now it'll load php my admin and it'll log me in here sometimes it might get you to a login and if that's the case you'd want to if it asks for a login you go to details here, your username would be, in this case, reading rainbow, and then whatever your password is set. And if you don't remember it, you can reset it. So we'll go back here. Mine's already logged in. And you go to server, and right there, boom. Here's the IP address we want. Copy. Let's go back to editing my file. Paste. We're going to do a file. We're going to do a save. And then we're going to come to FileZilla. Now we're going to upload the file. So what I want to do is I'm just going to delete the originals that are there. Because I already have copies of them. And refresh configuration.php. So now I'm going to upload it. And once it's uploaded with the change, I should now be able to go to my website, hit refresh, and it might take a second or two. And then BAM! Website's back up and running. And that's it. That's all you have to do to fix that error. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave me a message.